Yeah, hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson and today we are going to learn about the uh, versioning or the semantic versioning and if you saw the previous lecture which was on the change log i saw you about the artifact that we have over there which is this one and we have a version name over here 102 101 and the 100 so this is the version name that we keep for our application and in the mobile development it's really important Okay, it's really import, important in the mobile development because when you are releasing the application to the Google Play or to the Apple Store, there is a version number maintained. So Google and the Apple will ask you to maintain the version number or the version name properly. And the version name is the one that is going to be exposed to the user. So what version of the application they are using, they should see this particular version name in, when they are downloading the particular application and the build number that we have over here is for the internal use only it's not available for the user to know the build number and the version name is the one that the user is going to get access to so you should have a proper version name and you should know why you are keeping that particular version name and it's it's the most important thing to keep when you are doing the uh, uh, building an application and uh, you can see that we have a three number on our uh, version name which is a uh, first letter and the second and the third so this is the semantic versioning that uh, we are, are going to look into it and let's go to the semantic versioning over here and the first one is, is a major and when the version you make the incompatible pi change so you should change that particular first version over here like this one the first number when there is a big changes to your application which is incompatible with the previous api changes let's say uh, previously you were using a uh, um, sqlite database and now from that you shifted to the um, let's say a hive database so there is a breaking change in the database it may break the user application so there is a version jump so you should make a major change over here and now we have another one which is of a minor and a version when you add functionality in a backward compatible manner so which means that uh, this version you need to upgrade this minor version when you add a functionality that is going to work without breaking the previous uh, release so in that time you can add a uh, whether you added a new feature uh, maybe you had a payment gateway you have added a PayPal, and maybe next time you added a stripe so it's still compatible right uh, it's not going to break your application but still there is a minor changes on your application and then you have a patch version so that when you make a backward compatible bug fix so this is just when you are releasing a small bug fixes then you should update the patch version so patch version is every time uh, whenever you make a new changes or the whenever you uh, create a new build the patch version should be increased so if you go over here every build that we are going to increase the patch version which is the last digit code and this we are going to increase it every time we create a new build and the middle one which is the uh, minor one we are going to upgrade this particular version name when we have certain new feature added to our application so when we add a new feature we will upgrade this version to the one and the first number which is of the major change is when we add a breaking changes to our application so at that time we are going to increase this particular version so you should have a proper naming convention for your application and this also depends on the your um, company policy or how the things work inside your application but as a developer you should know about the semantic versioning and how you should create a naming for your particular uh, application and how the google and the uh, apple is going to look into that particular version name and uh, when why you should have this major minor and patch so all of those you need to understand when you are creating or releasing the application or when you are building the application because previously you were just a developer and you are not 
you're going to build any application you are not going to release any application and that's fine you don't need to know about the version name uh, you don't need to know about the versioning what is a good practice for that particular version name so all of those you don't need to know but when you are working as a ci cd maybe you you have now a chance to do a ci cd pipeline and then you have a responsibility of releasing the application you have the responsibility of building the application so at that time this all comes into a handy which means that you need to know what is a good version name uh, how apple is going to look into it how the google is going to look into it how it will affect your releases so that you should understand and the major thing it the good thing is that the semantic version over here has a very good documentation about it and you should go and read all of those stuff because i'm not going to go and read all the things over here but when i read it i think that it's really uh, really good document over here so i have added it on the uh, lecture you should go and read this particular documentation over here but the point is you should know what is a major minor and the patch and why we add this particular uh, version naming convention when you are creating a application so i hope you understand why i create why we have a three um, three uh, three code over here like zero uh, one zero two one zero one and one zero zero and i hope this semantic versioning clear your concept over here so let's meet up in the next lecture till then have a great day